What is happening guys? Bob here, Rides Auto Sales, making another video of this beautiful 1970 Chevelle 572 Powers. My apologies, apparently YouTube enjoys flagging my videos because of background noise. But uh, we went ahead and shut off all of the music in the background so you guys will be able to view this video now for sure, 100%. If you haven't read through the description of this Chevelle, make sure you do a whole lot of time, money, effort, love, blood, sweat, tears, whatever you want to call it, has gone into this beautiful car and end result is nothing short of stunning. But right now I'm just going to give you a nice little fire up walk around video like every other video on my YouTube channel. So go ahead and enjoy. Let's let the car do the talking. I'll go ahead, fire this thing up. One quick second. As you can see, up and running on its own. This is a big old 572. It takes a little bit of time for it to come up, just a little bit in heat, everything pressurized, but up and running on its own. As you can see, sitting inside, um, everything is brand new, beautiful, gauges are new, uh, clear as clear can be, dash pad is free of any UV damage, brand new, carpet kit's brand new, center console looks great, uh, paired, 572 is paired to a Richmond 5-speed, um, dual friction center force clutch, a little bit stiffer than a stock feel, but not like an unsprung clutch, very, very nice and responsive. Um, you know, a little bit of documentation on it as well as of what's gone into it. But as you can see, door panels all recovered, all new hardware, um, nothing pitted, anything like that. All door hardware does work. Windows go up and down, no problem. Um, all new gaskets all the way around, nothing weather checked, anything like that. Camera is a little bit dirty. Let me clean that off for you. As you can see, new, brand new rear quarter glass. Um, everything rolls up and down like it should. No alignment issues, anything like that. Nice tight seal. Door jams are as clean as clean can be. Everything was disassembled and then painted. It's not like you have painted striker plates, anything like that. Look up inside of those door jams. Absolutely beautiful. As, as I mentioned before, you know, brand new carpet kit. Wiring is not a mess. All nice and clean wiring. Headliners, nice and tight. Dome light works. Rear sail, rear, rear sail panels look great. Um, you're looking at GM belts all the way around, back and front. Upgraded retro sound stereo. Go ahead and put one finger on this and close it for you. Jump into the engine bay, read through the specs on this as well. This is a GM Performance Crate 572 Brodix aluminum heads. A little bit heavier lift duration cam, power steering, power brakes. 572 looks right at home in between these fenders and this engine bay is nice and clean. I mean, all the way up to billet aluminum hood hinges, um, upgraded radiator, March pulley system, Doug's headers. Just a very, very 
good looking engine bay. We'll go ahead and close this hood for you here so we can give it to you in full frame with the hood shut as well. One quick second. <clears throat> As you can see, video and pictures both represent the car for what it is. Um, I'm not sure if they do it justice. It does look a whole lot better in, per in person. It's absolutely beautiful. I mean, you can look down all sides of this car with 100% confidence. It is beautiful. Panel gaps are great. All chrome is new. I mean, take a look at the bezels on these headlights. Grill is new. Looking down passenger side, I mean, as clean and crisp as you can possibly be. Willwood, all four corners, drilled slotted rotors. Panel gaps line up great from door to fender, from door to rear quarter. Go ahead and pull passenger side door open for you as well. One finger on this guy, nice and solid. Willwood brakes in the rear as well. Uh, take a look at those undercarriage pictures. Of course, I can't get video for you under it, but uh, you were looking at Hotchkiss, box rear control arms, QA1 front control arms, both upper and lower. Rear bumper looks great. Rear tail lights get up nice and close on those as well. Nothing cracked, no condensation. Cruising down driver's side once again, guys. Just nice, smooth contours, crisp lines. I mean, reflection is absolutely beautiful, as you can see. Back up a little bit so we can walk down this for you. Once again, panel gaps from rear quarter to door, spot on. From door to front fender. Also spot on, mirrors are beautiful. All chrome is beautiful all the way around. Take a look through the drip rails, all nice. And guys, that is the beautiful 70 resting on our showroom floor here in Bismarck, North Dakota. Like I said, I do apologize for the past video of this car getting flagged. But here it is, no background noise, no way YouTube is gonna flag this video. Uh, just me and the car. Guys, you know my name, phone number, email address will be directly below this video. Feel free to shoot me a text, shoot me a call, shoot me an email as I would love to help you with your next purchase from Rides Auto Sales. Thanks for watching guys, have a good one.